and welcome to Aviation 101 with Laura. It is IFR season, especially here where I am from in East Texas, and so we're going to talk today about fuel requirements for IFR, which leads into my favorite game to play, do I need an alternate or do I not need an alternate for flying IFR under the Part 91 rules? So, hopefully it's a good review for you. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And if, by the way, if these videos are helpful to you, I would so love to have you become a super fan by giving me some super thanks and I will shout you out in future videos. If you support us through a super thanks, that'd be cool. On to the instrument flight rule alternate stuff and playing the alternate game. So what we see in 91-167 is the fuel requirements. When we think about, do we need an alternate? It's a lot based on fuel requirements. That's really what we're looking at here. All of this is pre-flight planning steps. So we need enough fuel to fly to the airport we're going to intend to go to, and then to fly to the alternate if we need one. And that's really what the video is gonna unpack for you. And then fly for 45 minutes after you're going to the alternate fuel. So we have three buckets of fuel going to the destination, going to the alternate if we need it, and then 45 minutes. I like flow charts, um, so here we're gonna go through a flow chart. Number first question we're gonna ask, number one, does my destination have an instrument approach procedure available? If it does not, so my destination, my airport of intended landing, no instrument approach, is super easy. You need an alternate, ha, <laughs> love it. And, and that's fine. So then we need enough fuel to go to the airport that we're intending to go and to the alternate that we identify. And then 45 minutes after that normal cruise fuel consumption. All right, so let's say my destination does have an instrument approach procedure. So yes, it does. So let's look here and I'm gonna zoom in and unpack the one, two, three rule. So is the weather, we're gonna look at the weather at my destination one hour before to one hour after my estimated time of arrival at my destination. Is the weather better or equal to, is it at least a 2000 foot ceiling and at least three miles visibility when I look an hour before to an hour after my estimated time of arrival at my destination airport. Okay, so if the weather is better than that, or equal, at least equal to this, the one, two, three rule, then if it's better than that or equal to that, then I do not need an alternate. But if the weather is not at least 2,000 foot ceiling and three miles visibility an hour before to an hour after my time of arrival, then I do need an alternate. Okay, so this is gonna translate into a little game, okay? And just point of importance here, we are looking at the one, two, three rule at the destination when we're deciding if we can use it as a, if we need an alternate or not. So we're saying at the destination, do these things get met, these criteria at the destination for this hour before an hour and after, then we do or we don't need an alternate. That is where the one, two, three rule applies. So let's play my alternate game. Uh, do we need an alternate? And here is some weather that we've got for a forecast for East Tex Regional Airport. Alrighty. First time of arrival, I'm gonna put up, let's say that we're arriving at 1900 Z. Get my pen so we can draw on the slide a little bit. Alrighty, at, uh, first of all, we have to be sure we can read this TAF. All right, this TAF was issued on the 5th of the month at 1739Z. It is valid on the 5th of the month at 18Z to go through the 6th of the month at 18Z, so it's 24 hours. This first line in the TAF applies up through the first from period, and this first from period would begin on the 5th of the month at 2100Z. Okay, so at 1900Z, 
And again, we're looking at plus or minus an hour. So I like to just help students by putting down the window of time that we're looking at. And in this case, that would put us 1800 to 2000. That's plus or minus an hour. And long views our destination. I'm asking myself, do I need an alternate airport for fuel planning purposes? Okay. So uh, at 1900 Zulu and that 18 to 20, that actually falls entirely in this temporary forecast period that says uh, on the 5th of the month from 18 to the 5th of the month at 20, the visib this visibility, we would go to the previous line in the TAF. It would be greater than 6, P6, <clears throat> statute miles. But the ceiling is where it's going to hurt us. It's overcast 600 feet. So that does not meet the definition of the one, two, three rule because the ceiling is not at least 2,000 feet. The ceiling here is 600 feet. Okay, so that is no good and we do need an alternate for an estimated time of arrival at 1900. Okay, second one. Let's play another game, all right. What about at 2058? <clears throat> okay, at 2058, again, I'm looking plus or minus an hour. So if I'm looking plus or minus an hour, you might get kind of excited and you're like, oh, 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 it's almost this time period, 2100. Oh, yay. Uh, okay. Except for it's not 2100. It's 2058. Mm, that's annoying. But hey, we're outside of this uh, tempo period that ended at 20, 20 Zulu. Okay. We're outside of there. So that means that what we actually have to revert to is this first forecast period up here, greater than six statue miles, check on the visibility, greater than three, three or greater, but overcast 1200. So because of ceiling, we do need an alternate at 2058 because it does not meet the one, two, three rule. All right, third round of the game, do I need an alternate? All right, at 9.30. 9.30. Okay. Do we need an alternate? Now we're into the 6th, the 6th of the month. So it's it's after midnight Zulu time. So we are falling in the 9.30 and we would run from 8.30 to 10.30. And, and, and probably by now you're like, hello, duh. We are falling in this line of the TAF that starts at 700 and it goes all the way to 1400. So we are definitely in this line here for the entire plus or minus hour and we see three miles visibility once again the visibility is not terrible so that's actually good but we have overcast at 1000 foot ceiling so once again need an alternate need an alternate okay all right i'm beginning to think there's no period in this uh forecast where we like can not have an alternate but wait but wait there's more okay all right what about at 1402? What about at 1402? Do we need an alternate then? Now, when I tell this to students, sometimes they get excited and they're like, oh my gosh, hey, finally. All right, look at this cool line. Except for I say, ah, be careful because 1302 is an hour before to 1502 is an hour after. That means an hour before we're still in this forecast period and we still have a ceiling of overcast 1,000, meaning at 1402, we still need an alternate because of the plus or minus an hour. Yep. See, I told you I always win the alternate game. All right. Is there any time in this forecast period where we would not need an alternate? I mean, the TAF goes all the way to 1800 on the 6th. So... The correct answer to this one, and I'll put the answers in the video description too so you can check yourself, but the earliest that I would need no alternate technically would be 1501 Zulu because plus or minus an hour puts me at 1401 to 1601 and now I am falling into the greater than six mile and broken at 3000 ceiling period meaning I do not need an alternate. So 
So thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will be coming back to you soon with a new series of videos. So check it out and watch for that. I'm excited about this series. So see you guys soon.